I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Esther, chapter 3. Let's focus on verses 5 and 6. When Haman saw that Mordecai did not bow or pay him homage, Haman was filled with wrath. But he disdained to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had told him of the people of Mordecai. Instead, Haman sought to destroy all the Jews who were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, the people of Mordecai. We live in difficult times, and our nation has an unclear future. As anyone who has ever had money in the stock market knows, there are no sure bets on Wall Street. And the exiles, who had yet to return to Israel, well, they were about to learn this lesson the hard way. Life for the Jews in exile could not have been much better. One of their own, Esther, was queen. Although most Jewish exiles would not have been aware of that because of the secret pact between Esther and Mordecai in chapter 2, Furthermore, one of their own, Mordecai, had just rescued the king and was certain to be rewarded for that heroic act. So there's an old saying, rising tide lifts all boats. And what that means in the context of chapter 2 is that when a couple of Jews are favored in the king's eyes, well, then it raises the profile and the prospects of the entire Jewish community. Humanly speaking, the Jewish people should have been as secure as any exiled people could possibly be. And all of that assumption, however, would quickly change. Jewish stock on the Susa Board of Exchange, which in chapter 2 reaches all-time heights, plummets in chapter 3, right, to an all-time low. Chapter 3 begins easy enough. There's a Promotion of one individual, a seemingly insignificant act of defiance on the part of another. However, the chapter ends with the shocking revelation that an entire ethnic group of people is being placed under a death sentence. It is a death sentence that has been repeated throughout the generations. And tragically, it will be repeated again and again until Jesus comes. Esther chapter 3, verses 7 through 9. In the first month, which is the month of Nisan, in the twelfth year of the king Ahasuerus, they cast pur, that is, a lot, or almost like dice, before Haman to determine the day and the month that it fell on the twelfth month, which is the month of Adar. Then Haman said to king Ahasuerus, There is a certain people scattered and dispersed among the people, In all the provinces of your kingdom, they are everywhere, and their laws are different from all other peoples, and they do not keep the king's laws. Therefore, it is not fitting for the king to let them remain. If it pleases the king, let a decree be written that they be destroyed. And I will pay ten thousand talents of silver into the hands of those who do the work to bring it into the king's treasuries." The Jewish people as a whole were made to pay for a crime committed by one of their own. And ironically, the same individual who in chapter 2 is instrumental in bringing about the meteoric rise in Jewish stock has now become the reason for its dramatic drop. Why? Because nobody knew he was a Jew. Because he wasn't public with his faith. Now, looking at the big picture, it's clear that while God is positioning His people, Satan is also positioning His. And it's not to say that good and evil exist in some kind of balance, right? That's an Eastern lie of Eastern religion. The Lord has no equal, evil, or otherwise. It simply reminds us to expect for Satan to always attempt to foil the Lord's plans. But fear not. Greater is he who is in us. So let's know the Lord and let's make it public as to who we believe in. And then let's let the Lord unfold his plan of blessing in our lives and throughout the world. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people willing to make it public just like you. And your giving to Groundworks Ministries helps transform lives. Would you consider making a donation to Groundworks Ministries today? 
because we need your monthly support now more than ever. Donating is secure and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. Now, another way to help is to tell people about Groundworks Ministries. Share these podcasts with your friends and family and on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.